Okay, this is the third video post for website versus blog. Uh, the topic here is search engine optimization. Um, basically, a blog will get you uh, more of a, a ranking in a search engine. You'll have more of a chance of that than a website. And there are, um, there are many reasons for it. I'm going to keep things pretty broad and pretty basic. Um, and the way that I'll talk about search engine optimization, um, well, let's define it first. Search engine optimization is the ability to tweak your blog or your website or whatever you're doing so that it has more of a chance of actually ranking high in um, a search engine. Um, now, the way that I usually think about search engine optimization is from Google's perspective, because that's pretty much the search engine. They have a business to run, and their um, goal or their strategy and how they run their business is, you know, we want to provide the most valuable, the most relevant, and the most current stuff to people that actually use our search engine, okay? So um, all those three things that I just mentioned, valuable, relevant, and current, has everything to do with the content, okay? Now, I'm actually on a blog by Michael Martin and, and he talks about the biggest, and this guy's is kind of one of the experts on S, uh, search engine optimization. Um, so he talks about, you know, a biggest, one of the biggest factors is better content. Content that is naturally full of the same keywords that people would use to search online for related information. Okay? So, we're going to talk about each one of these. Valuable, relevant, and current. Um, the first one is, we're going to go back to our friends over here at the Zen Mountain Monastery. We're going to talk about valuable, okay? Um, so from Google's perspective, there are two types of people that use their search engine. One is, I've got a problem, I need an answer. Two is, I'm just curious, okay? Um, when someone has a problem, they're going to be, they're going to be, do their best to be as specific as possible about it. Google will deliver the content to them that meets that specific problem. Um, so, uh, what you have with a traditional website is the content is, is essentially spread out across the website. It's not a lot of deep, niche content on, on a traditional website. Um, and it's not really that dynamic either. It's not happening all the time. There's not fresh stuff happening all the time. So. Traditional websites are set up such that, you know, you have kind of very high level information on a whole bunch of different pages, okay? Now, with um, a blog, a blog is great because basically when you write a post, and believe me, posts can be super short, you know, 100 words, 200, 300 words, really short, doesn't take a lot of time. Um, but if they're written in such a way that's on a specific problem, specific area using specific keywords in your domain of expertise, you will have a better chance of ranking in Google, okay? And the reason why is because Google knows, like, hey, we got a, pro we got a guy over here who's got a problem with productivity, and then um, we want to give him the best content. So a serious problem, obviously he's got a problem here, um, and he needs answers. So um, the blog, because the very concise and um, focused nature of the content it's going to have a better chance on Google, okay? Second is relevant, okay? The content has to be relevant, um, which is closely related to the first one. Um, but the other thing about um, websites is that because the content is kind of spread out all over the place and it's not really kind of siloed in very focused niche areas, um, it has less of a tendency for people to actually want to refer to it and link to it, okay? Um, Google will actually, part of their whole deal is that they will consider how many people have kind of given the, the particular website a thumbs up, okay? With a blog, you know, the content is so focused, someone, this will hit the nail right on the head for somebody who's actually writing another article, and they're going to refer back to this. So with blogs, you generally will see more of a linking back to the article. Google is going to recognize that. They're going to say, hey, obviously people are giving this the thumbs up around specific keywords. We're going to listen to that feedback and rank it higher in the search engine. Okay? Um, the third is current. Okay? 
Um, the, a lot of nonprofits, what they have a problem with is that um, they, um, because of lack of technical resources, they typically have some volunteer who's, a, you know, a friend or whatever. They'll build up the web website and then, you know, they, they may have to give them a call or whatever to try and update it. So the content generally in, in many websites, it tends to go stale, okay? It's kind of up there as, a, as an online brochure. There's not a lot happening. You know, you can visit us. You know, there's information here, but it's really just an online brochure. It's not really going to be that current. Um, obviously, a blog, on the other hand, it's, it can be updated as much as possible. And Google loves that stuff. If there's consistent content within a particular topic domain that's updated frequently, Google's going to recognize that and give it a lot of, uh, you know, attention in the search results. Um, again, based on the specific keywords. So that is it on search engine optimization for the blog. Um, and until next week.